If you move the hook point uh, forward a little bit, what it does is it creates a bend in the bait like this, and it acts like a popper if you just keep your rod tip, popping your rod tip. But if you want it to act like a little bit, like a subtle buzz bait, just reel in your line a little faster. Oh. Another great use for this hooking option is for turned off fish. As you can see, the bait turns back on itself when it's twitched into the fish's face and causes them to bite. When you have a lot of short striking fish, pierce the nose of the bait and thread that bait right on the hook about halfway down through the bait, then come out with your hook point. Same as before, pull the hook right down through the body of the bait. Eye the hook up on the bait, same as before. Pierce the bait, and there you have it for short striking fish. He's got it! <laughs> After you've used the baits for a while and they get tattered and ripped up, don't throw them away. You can still use them. I'm going to show you a way you can rig the baits and still get a lot of fish catching action out of them. Pierce the hook in the tail section of the bait and bring it through, just enough to hold the hook in place. Feed it down through, turn your hook just like before, and just rig the bait backwards. Now when you're casting onto a lot of slop and where there's a lot of vegetation, floating reeds, uh, under boat docks, just make a nice gentle cast and as soon as you pull it off the cover, just point your rod tip straight towards the bait and the bait will actually swim down underneath that cover. You can fine tune the action by adding small nose weights to the front of the bait until you get the action you're looking for. The next thing to consider is line tension. Now if you keep your line tight as you hit the bait, what will happen is the bait will run tight and certain fish like that. Uh, muskies, smallmouth for example, will tend to like the bait running straighter. If you fish for largemouth or you fish for, for pike, say for example, uh, there are certain fish that like the bait to be more like this. So you, the way you get that is hit it on a slack line and the bait will go all over the place this way. Um, again, with those those three things you get an enormous range of fish triggering actions and you can basically key in on what it is the fish are liking the best and uh, get them to trigger reg almost regardless of the feeding mood. As I mentioned earlier you can rig them any way that you rig any other soft plastic bait that means you can use any kind of jig. Uh, they work with everything. You can also use nose weights, any kind of weighting system that there is out there. Carolina rigs even. Uh, you know, what happens with Carolina rigs is the baits uh, jump up off the bottom basically because that front causes lift. They jump up off the bottom, hover a little bit and then slowly glide forward right in the fish's line of sight. Uh, but also I like to use them quite, quite a bit on flipping jigs. What I like about this is there's not a bigger bait out there for pitching. It's a good sized bait. It's got a good bulk to it. It's got a slow fall, it's not a fast falling bait, and uh, it, it works, it catches fish. I frequently use swim bait jig heads as well on the baits. Uh, these ones have a nice little slot at the back that uh, just happens to fit perfectly with the wedge shape of the, uh, the front of the bait. Um, if I'm fishing steep dropping banks, I may, may use the, the larger version here, which is fairly heavy. I think this one weighs about half an ounce, something like that. Um, you know, if I want to fish sort of 10 feet down, maybe a little, uh, a little more and keep it in that sort of range and I'm going to be reeling in, you know, relatively medium pace, you know, not too fast. I want to keep it down there. I may use the middle size one. And, but for most applications, I tend to use the smaller, lighter one here. Um, now what I do with this is I'll sort of fish weed edges and things of that nature and I'll sort of jerk the bait up and let it flutter down looking all kinds of injured and it draws strikes like crazy. Now I tend to use these in situations where uh, baits like spinner baits for example which I also use a lot um, you know may be a little too aggressive and I find with these the fish are more inclined to bite them because they have less negative cues. And uh, what I can do with those is fish almost any depth you know 
10, 20, 30, 40 feet down. If I jerk the rod tip occasionally, I can actually get the bait to walk the dog at that depth as well. And it does the same thing down there as it does on the surface. So uh, something I would absolutely recommend. I use it an awful lot as well. I use the lighter jig heads to fish weed edges so I can get the bait to jump up and flutter down real slow, looking all kinds of injured. And working weed edges like that, you get some incredible fish. All of the black mamba baits make very effective trailers on spinner baits, buzz baits, crank baits and jerk baits, spoons, and poppers. Now the other huge advantage of using these baits too is if you fish docks and Good overhanging shot. trees and stuff of that nature uh, where it's hard to get a bait underneath, these baits skip a mile. They skip better than any bait I've ever used ever before. When I've ever tried to use other baits, they'll tend to go skip maybe two and then they die. Uh, with these baits, you can get them to skip sort of 10 or 12 times. The shape of them and the weight of them is such that it will allow you to skip them like a stone. Most guys fish docks, they pick at the dog, po uh, dog post methodically with something that plummets, which uh, is a very unnatural presentation. Nothing plummets in nature and it takes a long time because it's slow and methodical. If you use the black mamba baits, you can actually be like 20 feet away from a dock and skip it 20 oh, feet on oh, the oh. back to fish that have never even seen laws and they don't even know you're there because you're so far away. You can fish a dock in much less time than you would by conventional means and in the same time period put yourself in front of a lot more fish and because you're fishing in their preferred attack position, guess what, you catch more. Got him. Right at the boat. Look at that. Came up from under that tree. It just took him a little while to decide whether he wanted to eat it. Now we come to the most important stage and that's how you make money with these baits. Well, first of all, hopefully you're going to you're going to look at buying them because they're going to help you in tournaments. You're going to win a lot of money that way. But the uh, the second thing is I know it's very tough to run a club and to raise money for it. And uh, you know, we're we're in a we're a small uh, company up in Canada. We're not in any kind of position to be able to give away free product. We're not in any kind of position to be able to sponsor people or events. Uh, and so basically what we've had to do is turn those down. We could we could give away everything that we make and go go out of business very quickly and you know we intend to be around for a long time so uh, what we've done is come up with an affiliate program which we call the uh, black mamba fishing buddy program and the idea of this is either individuals or clubs it doesn't matter to me either way um, if we can give you a link on your site that if anybody comes to us via your site and and buys anything from us our our site will actually track it via that link from cradle to grave. And what we will do is pay you an appropriate commission. You might ask, how are we gonna police this? Um, the idea is very, very simple. You know, I do business straight up. It's the only way to do business. It doesn't serve me in any way, shape or form to rip you off. Because if I do, what's gonna happen is, is you're not gonna buy anything anymore and you know a lot of people in the business and you're gonna tell them that I'm not worth dealing with. And if that's the case, then I can't make a living. The only way that I can make a living is if I treat you right, you learn to trust me and you come back for more. That's how I make a living. And I intend to be around for a long, long time. And that's the way I always do business. I'm straight up, I never rip anybody off and never would. So uh, rest assured that you will get paid the appropriate amount of commission. Now, if you get to a point where you find that you've got a, a decent bit of demand, what we'll do is, is you can actually carry stock of them as well if you want. If you want to buy up front and buy a stock of them, uh, what I will do is give you a much larger commission so that you can make even more money because obviously you're putting your money where your mouth is. Now I'm hoping by now that you sort of got the idea that these baits are worth a serious look uh, and could definitely give you an advantage in, uh, in tournaments. What I would encourage you to do is go onto our website and have a look at the footage we've provided there. You know, we, uh, as I mentioned before, we're a small company, but we wanted to do it right. So what we've done is gone to a great deal of effort, a great deal of effort and spent a lot of money 
uh, to do it right by providing all kinds of video footage to show you how to get the most from these baits and how they work. You know, I can talk about them as much as I want, I can write as much as I want, but at the end of the day, what makes sense is you seeing them in action. You know, you'll get a real good sense of what the baits are about and whether or not they're appropriate for your style of fishing. What we'll do hopefully is uh, be talking again in the future and uh, let's see what we can do to get you started with this, this affiliate program and get you making some money both in the tournaments and uh, via sales through uh, your membership and visitors. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye. Now here's a bunch of regular anglers just like us who wanted to share their experiences with the Black Mamba baits with you. Now, one important thing to note is none of these guys were paid one cent to say anything nice about the baits. This is their honest opinion. It's just one word to describe them. What would the word be? Excellent. Awesome. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Explosive too. It's just a wonderful bait. Phenomenal. Awesome. <laughs> There's no other word to describe them. Probably awesome. Amazing. They're awesome. They're really awesome baits. They have to be versatile. Fishability. Just phenomenal. Most versatile, best lures I've ever used for sure, no question. These things are incredible. I can't say enough good about them. One word is very tough. Spectacular would be the first thing that came to my mind. It, it works, it catches fish. They're great. Really exciting. I think it's incredible. It's a perfect lure.